Starlink Report. This is the Starlink Report. For June 7th, 2021, I'm Huey Poplock. On May 26th, SpaceX launched 60 satellites for Space Launch Complex 40 uh, at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. It's the 16th launch of 2021, meaning SpaceX has launched a rocket every nine days so far. It's the 29th batch of Starlink satellites since the 1st of May 2019, building out the firm's Internet Connectivity Constellation. Starlink aims to offer high speed and low latency internet access almost anywhere with a view of the ground terminal. SpaceX now has launched 1,737 satellites for Starlink, with 951 operational. The Starlink satellites typically take a few months to move into position and start operations. The Starlink is already the biggest single constellation in space, but the firm has applied for permission to launch up to 42,000 satellites. Polar orbiting satellites, which will begin launching from Vandenberg in California Space Force Base later this year, will give Starlink Network complete global coverage. However, it's not just SpaceX planning to launch larger-than-ever constellations. Other projects are planned from OneWeb, Amazon Kuiper, and GW. OneWeb, OneWeb's broadband constellation is set to pass the 200th mark after Arian Space successfully launched its latest batch of satellites May 28th. Arian Space launched 36 satellites on a Soyuz 2.1B rocket in Russia, which will enlarge OneWeb's fleet to 218 satellites. Amazon Kuiper. Amazon satellite internet play Kuiper is expected to be launched in India sometime next year. Those familiar with the matter have revealed, pending a series of regulatory approvals like landing rights required for downlinking signals of foreign satellites into the country. Amazon is, reportedly, sinking over $10 billion into building a constellation of 3,236 low-Earth orbit, or LEO, satellites aimed at beaming down Internet connectivity to users. However, detailed plans for India have yet to be revealed. India, unsurprisingly, has been identified as one of the key emerging markets to launch Kuiper in uh, with Amazon estimating the near-term opportunity at roughly $500 million. Amazon's secretive $10 billion satellite internet program, Project Kuiper, will send its first satellites into space on nine rockets owned by the United Launch Alliance, a joint Boeing-Lockheed Martin venture Amazon announced in April. Questions remain as to when the rockets bearing Kuiper satellites will get off the ground. Redmond headquartered Project Kuiper has yet to launch a test satellite, and Amazon declined to say when the UAL launch would occur. It's also unclear when Kuiper's internet network could be operational. The GW. Bao Weiman, a senior official with the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corp, CASC, China's main space contractor, made a first public acknowledgement of the mega constellation plan in an interview with the Shanghai Securities News on March 7th, stating, We are planning and developing space based internet satellites and have launched test satellites. A national network, Gao Wang company will also be established uh, to be responsible for the overall planning and operation of the satellite internet construction, Bao added. Both constellations announced around 2018 were to consist of hundreds of communication satellites in low Earth orbit. A handful of technology verification satellites have been launched. The CASC was planning to have an initial 60 Hongyan satellites in orbit by 2022. For those of you who are interested in spotting Starlink satellites, Find Starlink can give you a good idea 
when SpaceX's spacecraft will be visible in your location. It's findstarlink.com. Users can choose from a multitude of cities across the world to check out when and where to look for Starlink satellites. It'll look like this. Elon Musk announced one of SpaceX's new additions for 2022. Next year, the company spacecraft will be launched from an ocean platform. The Deimos Ocean Spaceport is under construction for launch next year, tweeted the company's CEO. Along with the post, the billionaire shared another publication with a rendering of the spaceport over the waters, and that was in the previous slide. The site used will be one of two deep water oil platforms that the company acquired last year. The vessels were acquired by SpaceX in July for $3.5 million each. And that's it. The Starlink Report.